van life competitions. Thank you very much. Shit. You see, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? And welcome back. What's the van doing there, I hear you ask? Well, let me show you, we've got a visitor. Now, for all of you guys who've been watching us for a while, will remember Sally, who came to visit us before I'd bought that. She's back for a little bit more tinkering on her van. So this is Sally's Sprinter. For those who haven't met Sally before, Sally's somewhere and there. And disappeared, hello. <laughs> so that's Sally. Some of you will remember from that video, like I said. Um, we're just gonna, she's here for a couple of days. We're just gonna do a bit of work on her van. We're gonna be looking at the seats, which is gonna be great practice for me because we're gonna remove her double passenger seat, which I need to do because in order to put a single in, but Sally's actually just removing it for cleaning because it's disgusting under there. Um, we'll show you all that. And then we're also going to take her driver's seat out because she's got a swivel base for it. Mm. So I get a good practice at having to go at all these before I do it on my van. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13 year old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand where I used to work as an underwater cameraman and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. So we cheated a little bit, we've already loosened these bolts, we've got them going and then we're just going to have to do a little bit of uh, research. I think we'll have to disconnect the battery because this is the seatbelt pretensioner and if we don't disconnect the battery and then we move the van without the seats in it, we're going to get nasty warning lights on there, it doesn't like us. So we'll disconnect the battery and we can actually put, I have a little uh, special thingy <laughs> that I can connect in there and trick the van into thinking the seat's still there. This is what I got off eBay. Now there's a whole bunch of them in the pack. I don't need all those, we only need one. And the idea is that wires up into that wire and creates a loop and it tricks the van into thinking the seat's still there. So it doesn't have warning lights and alarms and scarers and all that. So uh, let's give that a go. Right, what you got here? Ah, oh, that's... We can nip some of these off then if they don't need to be there. That would be really handy. Anything that doesn't need to be there to simplify. Yeah, it's all very clean. That's kind of still connected if that stays there, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Right, the battery's disconnected. Now we just need to do this. And we should be able to disconnect this. And that's the little fella that causes all the trouble. And now, we can lift that out. You know what, I can't get hold of anything. Maybe it's easier from the inside. All right, slowly, slowly. Let's see if there's any other cables that don't want to come out. Tilt her back. That's out, that's out, that's out. Everything is detached. So, oh, grabbed at some of your nice hammer right there. Yeah. 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 Oh my there's goodness. A, li a little patch there, maybe. Uh. <laughs> Right, there's a load of old wires here we can get rid of. There used to be a, like a leisure battery under this seat because this this van used to be, was it an escort vehicle? Support vehicle for a truck rescue company. So it used to go out and rescue trucks that are broken down at the side of the road. And it had everything in here, like welding equipment, 
just, it was full of stuff in the back. Okay. So loads of wiring, which still just does nothing now. But, um, okay. So we'll get rid of what we don't need. So we're going to chop out some of this and then I'm going to go get Sal a bucket of water <laughs> and a mop and make a cup of tea. <laughs> and then suddenly underneath there, it's pretty clean. Wow. Obviously it's not connected to anything. So whatever this is connected to obviously wasn't working, even though it's connected to the power. All right, it's all hoovered. We got rid of some of the wires. It does need a clean. <laughs> but we're hungry, it's lunch. So mm. we'll, uh, we'll see you after lunch. Depending on the weather, it's awful right now. So we'll see how we go. <laughs> yes, we had a lovely lunch, thanks for asking. Um, as you can see, Sal's been cleaning. She got to it before I could get the camera out for you, but that's all right, she's very eager. I've dipped both pockets in the water. <laughs> both. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> right, now we are going to attempt taking this seat off the seat base. Then we'll see what things are inside the seat base. Maybe remove them if they're removable and then remove the seat base. <laughs> so Sal can dip her pockets in again and clean it. <laughs> then we'll put it back on and then we're going to have a look at this swivel base she's got, which we've never even unpacked. So hopefully which it's all Which is from Van Life Competitions. Thank you very much. And we will uh, be filming uh, us putting it in. So thank you again, Richie and Laura at Van Life Competitions. There you go, Richie and Laura at Van Life Competitions. Big thank you from Sal. Let's hope it goes smoothly. Or you're going to look bad, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This out. <laughs> it's okay. We're okay. It stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not notice that? Yeah, no, I did. <laughs> but because it all, like, I couldn't hear properly as well, it felt like really well, like, surreal. Whoa. Yeah, I thought it was tripping. <laughs> so the handbrake's off, in case you didn't notice, the van just moved. That, <laughs> that scared me. It's fallen nicely into. Oh, God, the do back doors, that was close. We're good. There's a little pit here that my back wheels of the Vivaro God, sit down that into. Is that is close. Wow, I thought that brake was still on, even though it's, no, it's not up, is it? Don't know, anyway. It's okay. Clear, clear, clearly not. <laughs> okay, okay, carry on. The, the earth just moved. The earth moved. <laughs> right, now she's shut up with the hoover, I can tell you, look. So it just rolled back with the uh, handbrake being off. And that <laughs> is how close we came to the garage door. That's the width of my hand. That was really lucky. You see, that's funny. We can laugh about it. But if that had hit the garage, oh my God. That would have been the van door, the garage door. We got away with that one. Right, Sal's still scrubbing under the seats here. We haven't found any rust, which is good. Always good. And then while she's doing that, I have fit this onto the side of the seat base. Now it's on its side, so it's a bit tricky to see now, but you imagine that's gonna flip back up over there. That is something that drops the handbrake. The handbrake normally attaches there, but now it's able to attach there, which is a hole 40 millimeters lower than it normally would be. Now that should allow us to swivel the seat when there's a sweet seat swivel. Swi oh. <laughs> when there's a seat swivel on there, um, it should allow us to do it because otherwise the plastic trim around the side of the seat doesn't allow you to. It, it hits with the handbrake. Now, luckily, I'd bought this a couple of weeks ago, just preempting myself putting a swivel seat on, but you know, because of the guy I am, I Magic thought, 80. I thought, I thought I'd let Sal have it, you know, it's so absolutely generous. fine. So generous. No, it's not. I just want to see how it works. So then I, when I do it on mine, it'll be super easy. That's the only reason I'm doing any of this. 
I'm learning loads. And if it breaks and something doesn't work, like right, Sal's van, isn't it? Sal's van, not mine, isn't it? I don't care. <laughs> Right, so while Sal's still busy cleaning, <sighs> I am going to see about putting this, which I showed you earlier, into here to create a circuit and fool the van into believing the seat is still connected. In like that. Right, we're heat shrinking over it. Oh. It'll do nicely. All righty, open it. It's like Christmas, come on. Look, it says it's got a fraggle in it. <laughs> Um, have we got something sharp? I could have. Now, Laura and Richie sent me this months ago and I'm just getting into it. It's been, uh, been slow, I'm looking forward to getting on. Yeah, they've, they've probably been wondering where their thank you yeah, was. Yeah. <laughs> she just hadn't opened it yet. Ooh, this looks good. Quality build thing. Oh, look. <laughs> dun, dun, Swap. Dun, dun. Swap yeah, we've already <laughs> we've already put one of them on. Which one's shinier? I want the shiny <laughs> one. God, you must be a nightmare at Christmas. <laughs> this might be a little bit sharp. Yay! <laughs> That's like, like a, a route to nowhere tool. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, if you haven't seen routes to nowhere, you've got to go watch those guys. And if you guys are watching, there you go. This is us at it now. But I'm bored of waiting, so we'll just, <laughs> I'll show you it when she's got into it, hey. But yeah, if you guys haven't watched uh, En Route to Nowhere, go and have a look at their channel. Loads of fun. They're doing a bright yellow sprinter at the moment. And they've had some hardships, so they could do the support. Me and Sally watch them religiously, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that wire needs to come up, up through, through there. This, through the centre. Van life competitions. This looks like a really seriously heavy duty, fantastic piece of kit. And I'm jealous and I want one. Now that's going to want to come through there. We know. Swivel it. Would you like a seat? Do you require a seat? <laughs> I would like a seat. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. Right, what we're going to do now is go like. Oh, that was, that was the. Uh, this thing was it just clicking back down or something what went clickety bang there i don't know it's a nasty sound wasn't it yeah it doesn't sound good oh, i think it's the plastic trim yeah it's the plastic trim on the side what it's broken no no not broken oh, just no not broken at all it's uh oh yeah no maybe it has actually cracked i'm sorry <laughs> Or is it? All I'm wondering now I mean, is... I mean, if it's meant to be up the other way, we need to turn it round anyway, but... Um... That gives us like an inch, yeah, to the mm -hmm. bottom of there. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it was this piece, it gives us an inch and a half. It's mm -hmm. half an inch enough to make that work. It's upside down, isn't it? Uh, you guys at Van Life Competitions must have been watching this going, no, you're putting it on upside down, what are you doing? <laughs> Now we look at it, it's obviously upside down. <laughs> it really, really is clearly yeah. obviously upside down. It just looks... In the beginning, it sort of, it felt like the big bulky bit should be on the bottom with a little spinny plate on top. But no, now it all makes perfect sense. Oh. All right, here we go again. This time, this time it's going in and it's going in the right way up. Yep. Yep. Got some good weight on it, this thing. <laughs> quality product. You can tell quality by weight, can't you, I think? Or is that with electronics? Ah. Okay. So, straight off the bat there, you can start wiggling. Oh, sorry. Those things into every corner. 
be easier with a ratchet, wouldn't it? I just broke my ratchet. Smashed it around. Violently. Okay. Is that going to get close to biting? I'm just going to spin that a bit. I don't know, doesn't make much more difference, does it? Let's have a butcher's. It is, but it's going sideways. Yeah, so if I can straighten it out with this and get it to... Oh, no, hang on, that's miles out now, isn't it? That feels to make so much more sense this way up. Yeah. It just does. Doesn't it? I think Clean, no mechanism, it's all hidden underneath, that pulls to... Yeah, it does, it, it, it does make... I suppose, you know what the thing to do would be? Sit the freaking seat on it and... <laughs> Check that we are getting it yeah, right. Is, is that actually making a difference or not? And is it happy to turn that way? Pull? Pull makes more sense to me. That's like any sort of seat thingy. And it leaves that, uh, it leaves that behind. I don't so know, you kind of expect <sighs> this to stay with you. You pull and it comes with you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than stay behind. Yeah. All right, well, the next so thing... So we then, did have it on the right way. Potentially. But this makes more sense in some ways. But you pop that and start to swivel, you've got to leave that behind. But it's got a good clearance on it. Right, so the thing now is to pop the seat on top of there and see if the plastic clip, uh, plastic trim catches. Because if it does, then it's no different. Yeah. That's the only thing we're trying to rectify by turning yeah. this around, isn't it? <laughs> So, I can't see. It clears this side. Does it? Is it? Is it? It's the front bit there. Can you go around and to the driver's side? So where, where does so it need? So it's this. Yeah, it needs to 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 clear the. Uh, it's that it's getting caught on. Now, oh, which which would go down. It's, now it's getting caught on the main thing, on, isn't it? Yeah, on there. But close though. I think either way, that just doesn't go well, does it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at that from down here. No, that's not even close to clearing, so you'd always have to trim something off. It makes sense the other way. Again, now. So we did have it the right way the first time. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have instructions, but yeah. It makes sense because we can't get them bolts in, can we? No. We're going back right. again. And this yep. and okay, we're starting again. And you're just gonna have to accept that we're gonna be uh, So we're gonna have to take this take this a bit of that trim off anyway. I already uh, I already cracked it a little bit for you. I thought it might make it easier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've stood. Okay, Laura and Richie, so we did. You're probably watching us now as if we're absolutely mad. Because we did have it the right way to stop, we think. Tell us, please, anyone who knows, Laura and Richie especially, um, but in the comments, drop it in the comments, please. You can tell us we're stupid. You can tell us how we should be doing it. Or you could be honest like us and say, I haven't got a clue. Goodness me. Like I said, this is a lovely learning curve on Sally's van. <laughs> Cracking bits of trim and making a mess. So when I come to do it on mine, it'll all be easy. <laughs> tell you what, while you're not doing anything, do you want to take the rest of that trim off the side of the seat? <laughs> It's off now. Pretty much off now. That takes care of that, doesn't it? <laughs> well done. <laughs> We're not done till this is done. I tell you. Because I don't even know James might be coming to take the van away. Yeah. <laughs> and he needs a seat. The guys, the lovely gentlemen who welded my van, are coming to weld Sally's van tonight. And I'm not sure if he's coming to pick it up and take it away. Or if he's... Uh, going to come and we'll do the welding here so he's going to need a seat if he's taking it away isn't he it looks like this little bit of trim here on the side of the seat uh wanted to you know leave the seat it wanted to come off it wasn't going to spin with that on that's why we thought it needed flipping the other way up 
but even then it still didn't work it would have needed a bit of a trim but as it was already cracked well we'll just continue cracking that so the only thing to do now would be just pop a knife through this, this last little bit here then we're going to try and get the handbrake on and make sure that that uh, adjustment bracket will work the brackets in place where are we brackets in place handbrake going on let's see if this is going to work i'm not filming it i'm running out of power so give me a sec mind your head right sal's going to give it a test you can't even touch the floor can you how are you going to do this right first of all is that going to work uh it's already off the latch you'll have to put the handbrake down all right so you always make sure you're probably in gear so you don't roll away all right yeah. Obviously now we've already we're, done the rolling. We've, we've already done the rolling. So it's already off the latch. So I think you'll have to because you don't want the back of the seat to hit the Yeah, so I need to come come forward or just put the back up. Now you should be able to just turn around. Oh, I'll meet you I'll meet you in the back. <laughs> so graceful. <laughs> wow, you made that look easy. <laughs> Yes. Right, we've just done a test run. Sal started the van. There's no warning lights, so the connections we made with the wires are all good. The seat does swivel. Sal struggles with the civil swivel, <laughs> but we think that's because her legs don't reach the floor. <laughs> so we're happy. We're going to have a tidy up. We're going to put the battery cover back on. And I think I'm getting it. I'm getting there. Uh, I'm getting yeah, break time. Oh, we've just got to put the cover back on the handbrake, but it needs a bit of a trim. You're getting used to it now. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Right, we'll catch up with you later. So yes, we're on another day and we haven't been filming anything today as Sally's van got taken away by the boys, if you remember who did the welding on my van. They took it away because she needed some welding doing on the wheel arch. That is all now beautifully taken care of. And they've put some special epoxy stuff that uh, they use on top of that, which harden, hardens like enamel. So that should be pretty cool. Anyway, as it is, Sally is going to be hitting the road shortly. So we have got to get all of her stuff, including those passenger seats, back in the van, ready for her to leave. What's the angle? I'm not playing. Okay guys, we are gonna say goodbye to Sally now, but you're gonna see her again. She'll be back probably in a month. Yeah. More work on the van. And then as we said in the previous video where Sal was here, we're gonna be seeing her again in Europe. Yep, and that's where the microphones ran out of power. Clearly we have been jabbering far too much over the past couple of days and someone forgot to put them on charge. As always, huge shout out to our Patreons, coffee givers, likers, subscribers, commenters. You mean the world to us and we would not be doing this without you. Don't forget to look out for next week's video. We're finally going to be taking a look at our own van floor and we look forward to seeing you then. Fresh.